This is, I feel like a guest, you know? This is a cool city, it's everybody's so nice, you know? I'm, uh, there's a lot of different, I'm a Lebanese American, let me just start there, right? So the Lebanese in me is very passionate, very quick to anger, and the American in me isn't really sure where Lebanon is. <laughs> Try it. <laughs> I'm also married, you guys. I'm married to, uh, I married the girl of my dreams. I'm very lucky. Yeah, she's the coolest. We actually figured out the foolproof way to make a marriage work. What we do is my wife, Serena, makes all the little decisions, right? So I don't have to sweat any of that. Right, then I, of course, make the big decisions, and then she decides which decisions are big or little. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> Works out perfectly for her, and I pick our cereal. So whatever, I'm just saying. <laughs> She's the best. Right, one of the things I love about her is she keeps me grounded, right? She calls me on my, on my bull, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm one of these idealists, I got the answers for everything. I'm arguing with people about, I'm arguing with people in my living room trying to solve the Middle East, right? Like, here's what Israel, Palestine needs to do. They need to start from nonviolence and understanding. And I'm always like, would you please shut up, all right? You're not gonna solve Israel, Palestine from our living room. Don't you have a sister that doesn't talk to you in a year and a half? <laughs> Why don't you get your whole family to unblock you on Facebook and then, <laughs> and then you solve the Middle East. <laughs> She's right. We got a little boy, right? We named our son Owen, because that's what we figure we're gonna be doing for the rest of our lives. <laughs> yeah, you got kids, those things, those things are not cheap, right? People are like, dude, you gotta start saving for his college pronto, Tom. That's 30 grand a year minimum. I'm like, well, then he's gonna be home colleged. Uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I don't have that kind of money laying around. He's, going to the North Carolina School of Home College. I don't know if you have kids. My son's got it made, right? He doesn't even realize how lucky he's had it as a little boy, all right? First of all, he's got a father who believes in nonviolence. Yeah, which he tests all the time. I don't know about y'all, it's amazing how the whole day can turn around. Everybody's happy, the sun is shining down, laughter's in the air, and then that little punk won't put his shoes on. Like, let's go, put your shoes on! How many times did I tell you? Frustrated, right? Martin Luther King had kids. He was committed to nonviolence, right? I don't know how he did it. Like, let's go, put your shoes on or we are marching. I've had it. <sighs> they won't eat their vegetables again, Coretta. Grab the picket signs. Here we go, around the kitchen. Eat your peas, eat your peas. <laughs> well, <laughs> I don't know. It's not easy, right? My wife wasn't always on board with the nonviolence thing, right? Raising kids is hard. You know, when I met my wife, she wanted to have four or five kids, and then we had Owen, and she was like, this is it. <laughs> one day he's like, why can't I be a big brother? Well, maybe you should have thought of that when you were one. <laughs> <laughs> maybe slept through the night a few more times. <laughs> yeah, there's a reason why kids are so cute. It's so you won't throw them in a dumpster at three in the morning. Yeah, and if you're not laughing, you don't have kids. That's my <laughs> philosophy on that. <laughs> but that nonviolence thing is hard, right? But that's the thing. If you want to see nonviolence in the world, right? If you read about it, they all say if you want to see it in the world, first you've got to be it in yourself, right? You have to be it in yourself, and then it reflects from you to the rest of the world. All of them say that. Buddha, not Buddha, G you know, Jesus, Gandhi, Martin Luther King, they all say you've got to do that. So I'm trying, but it's hard. Hmm. It really is. It's amazing how much you can love something and want to throw it into a wall at the same time. <laughs> but I was reading about Gandhi and something that stuck with him about nonviolence when he was coming up from his dad, right, where he got in a bunch of trouble at school. His dad was furious with him, comes out from meeting with the teachers. He's all mad. He's like, all right, Gandhi, obviously I'm not doing a good enough job as a father. And he punished himself and he walked the 10 miles back from the school, right? And that stuck with Gandhi somehow, right? So I'm reading that and I'm like, well, I'm not doing that. <laughs> I only live a mile from the school and I'm not doing that. Yeah. But it did stick with me, right? And Owen's like four or five and he's not listening. I'm getting super frustrated by it. If I'm like, all right, Owen, listen up. Obviously, your mother is not doing a good enough job. <laughs> so start listening to me right now or I'm gonna have to smack her and that's on you. <laughs> I would never do that. No, it's, just, it's, it's a joke. That's the point. I'm a nonviolence guy, remember? 